Hello viewers, uh, today I am talking about budget cuts and government finances. First and foremost, it is always good advice to remember that fiscal management has often been code-worded to mean physical conservatism. So when you hear budget debates, often it revolves around the need to cut in order to be physically responsible. But the point I want to make in this video is that, in fact, budget cuts to vital public services like health care or education or any host of other services is actually more expensive for everyday working people like me or you. Fiscal management is almost never talked about in this context. You can change the spending priorities of any government, but you can, uh, you can or rather also can change the revenues and intake that a government receives. In recent years, as of 2020, it has been common for governments to give tax breaks, revenue cuts, and benefits to the wealthy and corporate environments. Capital gains taxes are down in Western countries, as are corporate income taxes. So are many of the tax brackets on wealthy incomes that have been reduced. This means government has less money to spend on vital public services, such as building a new hospital, or funding free university tuition, or jump-starting a housing co-op in a major city with ultra-high housing costs. So, my friends, this is why you need to be careful when you hear a media personality speak of saving taxpayers' money, because saving taxpayers' money is just political spin. It's, it's often code word for saving wealthy and corporate interests cash, yet cutting vital public services like drug coverage, healthcare spending, education, housing support, scientific research and development for drugs. The list is endless, by the way. Uh, this list is incredibly long. Those, and those cuts, I should say, are far more expensive for everyday working people because we have to make up those cuts by spending more in our personal budgets. So always question and debate, or any debate, where you hear the term physical management come up because physical management isn't just about being physically conservative or physical conservatism. It's about how much a government is willing to tax its wealthy elite and corporate interests so it has the ability to spend on these vital public services, which reduces costs for people like me or you, just individuals in the uh, market. Uh, not just cutting a budget to, quote, save taxpayers money, of which the beneficiaries of that is often just the top income earners and corporations. Corporations suck so much money out of the economy. And public tax and spending programs is the only way to get those funds back in the hands of everyday people. So keep this in mind when you step into a voting booth. The entire context and language of which these topics are discussed are designed to benefit the wealthy and well-connected, not you or me. So vote accordingly. If most of us speak with a voice to invest in vital public services, it will be cheaper for us to afford these modern services. So in essence, what I'm trying to teach you is that a cut for the wealthy and well-connected may be an expense um, for you and me. Uh, and the majority of people will f uh, forget this at their own peril. Thank you for watching.